What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, the number one place for new coaches, content creators, and entrepreneurs. In today's video, I really want to answer a question that a lot of young people have, including myself, and that is how do I earn a six-figure income? Specifically, how do I earn this before the age of 25? For some reason, society tells us that the age of 25 is an age where we need to have all our shit together. This is when we start getting really ambitious with our goals, wanting to buy a house by the age of 25, wanting to make a certain income by the age of 25 and all of that. But what I realized is that as I was slowly approaching the age of 25, I realized that I was nowhere close to achieving my goal of making six figures. Specifically, back then when I was working my nine to five job, I was making 65K a year. That's not bad. But based on how the promotions work and based on how the salary bumps worked, it would have taken me years to make six figures. Fast forward today, I have my own business and I actually turned 25 this year. And this was the year where I went from making 65K a year at my corporate job to now finally making multiple six figures in my business. That's why it is not too late. If you're watching this video and you're freaking out that you're approaching the age of 25 and you don't think that you'll ever be able to make a six figure income in your 20s, I'm here to prove you wrong and share with you some strategies and some key advice that I've learned now that I've become a six figure income earner. So if you're interested in learning my advice on how I turned everything around in less than a year without being a doctor, a lawyer, or an engineer, then keep on watching. Now, the first thing that really changed the game for me was selling high ticket services. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, make sure you check out this video right here where I talk a lot about my own business journey. But in a nutshell, if you are in fact new, just know that I used to work in a nine to five corporation making 65 a year and then I took a huge leap of faith quitting that job starting my YouTube channel and slowly attracting clients for one-on-one -on -one services and this service included me helping my clients with their brand positioning their brand messaging and helping them to launch their businesses or at least have a plan so that they can exit their nine-to-fives whether it's doing a side hustle or starting something of their own as you can see what I was offering was my knowledge I was monetizing the things that I already know about marketing based on my my experience working in marketing in a corporation and also based on my schooling experience as well. Eventually I launched my packages and it was about $2,000 each and in January alone when I officially opened the gates to the public to my business, I signed five clients and with five clients with packages that are worth $2,000, I made $10,000 that month. Not only this, if you really think about it, this also far exceeded what I was already making in my corporate job. So as as you can see, having a desirable skill and selling one-on-one -on -one client based packages can truly be a profitable avenue if you want to earn six figures a lot faster in your 20s versus working for a corporation. Now, obviously, this depends on the company that you work for, but like I said earlier on in my video, I wasn't a lawyer, I wasn't an engineer, I wasn't a doctor, I was a marketer. And most companies, when you're in marketing, don't pay six figures right off the gate. That's why in my personal personal experience starting my own business was a better avenue for me to fast track that financial growth. So whether you're a master copywriter, salesperson, social media person, graphic designer, or video editor, or whatever desirable skill that you have, just know that you can monetize it. And if you don't believe me and you feel like an imposter, make sure you check out this video right here where I cover not only how to become an expert, but also how to ditch your imposter syndrome the same way that I did when I was first starting out my business. But for now, now, just know that you can sell high ticket services using your monetizable skills. Not only this, as you start developing more experience in your business, you're then able to charge more for these packages and therefore increase your income potential. And then eventually, as the next phase, you'll then want to scale that business by either creating courses, teaching a proven framework, or creating an agency where you hire other people to do the work for you so you're not trading time for dollars and other means for scalability. There's so many different endless options on how you can truly scale this type of business, but just know for now that selling high ticket services can truly fast track your income potential in your 20s and beyond. Now moving on to my second tip, and that is surround yourself with people who have the results that you want for your own life. Now through my own personal business journey and personal growth 
journey, what I realized is that a dangerous mistake that you can make is to take advice from people who do not have the results that you want. Now, my next example might ruffle some feathers, but this is something that truly hit home for me. And that is, if you are constantly taking advice from your parents, let's say, who have always been accountants, who have always worked white collar jobs, and who have worked corporate all their lives, when you in fact want to start your own business, well, guess what? If you're constantly taking advice from your parents, you're probably going to end up as an accountant as well. Versus if you want to start a six figure business, start taking advice from other six figure business owners who have literally been in your shoes and who have done the things that you want to achieve. The likelihood of you ending up in the same fate is probably going to be a lot more increased versus if you took advice from your parents who have been working a nine to five all their lives. Now, let me give you a personal example of how I changed my life in just a year by taking advice from the right people. Now, back then, my biggest goal was to work for a Fortune 500 company, and I really wanted to move my way up the corporate ladder and become a VP. So a really great majority of my life, I was only taking advice from people who've done the same. People who worked in corporate, who had the jobs that I wanted, and all of that. And that worked out really well for me. I ended up landing my dream job at that Fortune 500 company thanks to all the people that I was listening to because they themselves have achieved the same. As you can see, the principle applies to all aspects in your life. Eventually, I realized that the corporate grind truly wasn't for me. And that's why I started to listen to a lot of advices from my boyfriend. My boyfriend is an entrepreneur. He's also a six-figure earner. And at the time, I was listening to a lot of the things that he was telling me. Fast forward to a year later, I'm now also a six-figure entrepreneur as well. And this is all thanks to me shifting gears and taking advice from someone else. Not only this, aside from just my boyfriend, I ended up hiring mentors who also had six-figure businesses and all of that. And that truly did fast track my growth. That's why I am living proof that your life can totally change just solely based on who you take advice from and who you surround yourself with. So I really want you to take this tip into heavy consideration as you're thinking about how you can and fast track your financial growth in your 20s. Now, moving on to the third tip that I have for you in order to fast track your growth in becoming a six figure earner before the age of 25 is to think big. Now, I know that this tip sounds super fluffy, but bear with me and please do not click out of this video because I have living proof that thinking big can truly change your life. For example, when I was with my boyfriend, I told him back then a long time ago that one of my biggest financial goals was to make six figures by the age of 30. And what he did was he laughed in my face. He couldn't believe that I was thinking so small. Not only this, when I was also starting out my business, I was talking to one of my mentors, Wilson Lee, and I told him that in my first year of business, my biggest goal was to make 65K a year so that I could replace my corporate income that I was making at that Fortune 500 company. And he pretty much had the same reaction. He couldn't believe how small my goals were. And instead, what he told me was to think big, was to push myself. And therefore, he gave me the goal of making 100K in my first year of business. And the reason why he did this is because if I'm telling myself that I can only make 65K or that's my goal, then all of my actions are going to reflect a 65K goal. Versus if I set my goal to 100K, that's going to change the magnitude of my actions. My actions are now going to be 10X and I'm going to take way more action that truly reflect a 100K goal. Now, what ended up happening is I ended up ramping up my actions in order to achieve this milestone. And the result was I ended up making six figures in four months within starting my business. And that is incredible. And it's all thanks to the power of thinking big versus if I was telling myself, okay, this year, I just want to make 65K. I probably wouldn't have ramped up my efforts. And by the end of the year, yes, I probably would have made 65K. But if I didn't set my goals to be bigger, I could have probably made a lot more. That's why thinking big is truly going to make a difference in your life. So please do not settle for the status quo. Really challenge what your goals truly are and who you're comparing your goals to. Now, all of this truly leads back to the second tip that I gave you previously, which is hanging around people that have the results that you want, hanging around other high income earners. Because until I started hanging around these people, my goals were then challenged and therefore I really learned the value in setting way bigger goals for myself. And now when I look back, I laugh at all of my old financial goals because I finally understand the power of thinking big and what is 
truly possible in your life if you set that standard for yourself. If you're setting a standard of making 50K, 40K, 10K, 100K, a million, that's what you're going to get. So make sure you are challenging your goals and that you're thinking big as you go along in your journey. Now, so far in this video, I've given you a blend of practical advice and also the key mindset shifts that you need to make in order to earn a six figure income by the age of 25 or 30, 40, because remember age is just a number. However, all these tips are useless unless you actually strengthen your money mindset. For me, for a very long time, I didn't think that six figures was possible in my life, not because I didn't see other people achieving it, but because I didn't feel like I deserved it. Now we can go on and on about strengthening your money mindset, but the two resources that I really want to share with you that truly changed my life is Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich and also Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. These are the two books that I really recommend that you read in order to strengthen that mindset of yours in order to attract more abundance into your life. Not only this, if you are someone who's watching this and you're interested in starting a business, then make sure you hit the notification bell because in my next video, I'm actually going to walk you through step by step how I would rebuild my business from scratch. So this is going to be a really cool video where I'm going to share some key strategies that I would implement if I were to do my business all over again. So make sure you hit that notification so you don't miss that video. In the meantime, while you wait for that video, make sure you also check out these two videos that I have over here. I talk a lot about entrepreneurship, social media, and marketing. So make sure you check out these videos as well. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, and a great life, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.